how to create a chart in Excel that automatically changes the color depends on the value, depends on the criteria. If my actual value surpass or hit my goal, my target, the columns is going to be highlighted in a different color, such as green. And all those and other columns are going to be highlighted with a different color, such as red, or the color that you choose. It's pretty simple to do it. We just need to basically have one function here in Excel, that is the if function so let's learn step by step how can we do it let's go the first thing that we need to have in order to create the chart that can change automatically the colors depends on the value if it's surpass or not the target the go is a data set so here i have as the first column of my data set the months the categories basically it don't need to be dates you can use uh, whatever information that you need to use here basically it's a category okay and the second column is where i have the values and I, it doesn't matter what type of numbers you want to use here. You can use just simple numbers or decimal numbers, percentage, doesn't matter. Okay, so category and then the values. Now in the next column to the right, I want to use this column as a helper where I want to input here my target or my goal uh, in a value. Okay, so my target here is going to be 3000. 3, 1, 2, 3. Enter. Okay, 3000. And 3000 is going to be for all the rows. So basically all the categories, January, February, March, April, and on and on, is going to have the same goal, the same target. But you can actually make different targets here. So let's say you input here 3000, and in the next row you want to use 1500. It doesn't matter. You can use any different values as you want. But let me click here in the down right corner of the cell. Click, hold, and drag down to make sure all the rows here contain basically the same number. Now in the next column, column D, uh, my second helper column is going to be the if function. Here basically this is going to be, the column D is going to be responsible to hide the red or the green columns. So we are going to be able to change the colors in the chart because the column D. So let's say here every column is going to be red, but the columns that are surpass or hit the target, I want to highlight them with green. And this highlight is going to be possible because the if function. The if function is going to highlight those columns that surpass my target. So equal sign if function. Double click here to select one, two. Within here, the first argument, the logical test, I want to use this logic right here. If the value that I have here to the left is greater than the target. And as I said, greater than, I need to use this symbol right here, okay? This little arrow to the right, pointing to the right greater than if the value that I have is greater than the target comma so I want to have the value itself the actual value because I want to highlight those values comma else if not I want to have an arrow because the arrow is going to be responsible to hide all those values that didn't hit my target okay so uh, pound n slash a close parentheses and then Enter. Here in the down right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function and we done. So whenever we get here as a result a value, it's because the value is surpassed. Those values surpass it or hit uh, the target or my go. As you can see here, this row right here is the first one where my value surpass here, my target. And yeah, it's true. So I'm going to use this value right here to highlight the columns where I need to have a different color, such as green, for example. Now let's create the chart itself. First, I want to select the first two columns where I have the categories and also the actual value, okay? Select both uh, informations, everything here, and then go to insert, and then select the chart that we're gonna use. In this example right here, I'm gonna use the first chart right here, the column chart, the basic one, click here, and yeah, let me click in the chart and move it a little bit up like this. Make it a little bit bigger. Just click in this little circle. Click hold and drag out like this. And yeah, I can also make some changes here in the chart, but I actually we can do it later. Now, something very important here is let me select the if values that I have here. Everything. Okay, so if and everything down like this. And then I'm going to press Ctrl C to cope all those values. I'm going to click in the area of my chart and then i'm going to press ctrl v to cope and paste basically those values into my chart itself and as you guys can see now i have two different columns the blue one and the orange one the blue one is gonna be red for example 
and the orange one is gonna become becomes green okay so we're gonna make the, this change and, and but uh, as you guys can see the, those columns are separate are severed from each other so basically i'm gonna need to overlay those columns to put one color in front of another and to do it let me right click in any column and then i can go to format data series and here to the right i'm gonna have uh, important information that is series overlap with this percentage right here i can click and drag all the way to the right where i'm gonna have the value such as 100 percent the gap width you can also change let's say let's make this number a little smaller maybe 100 just to make the columns thicker uh, and yeah basically that's it now with those orange columns selected i can go to the few align options fill and select here the color that i want to use i'm going to select a red no here's going to be green okay green and now let me click here in the blue columns and instead of using blue i'm going to use the red color like this and yeah that's it now whenever i have a value that surpass the target the column is going to be automatically change the color for me let's make a test here i'm going to take the february month and the value that i have here is 24 46 but i'm going to change it to let's say 4000 one two three i'm going to press enter and look at what's going to happen in the chart enter and yeah so automatically the february category here the category of february change the color automatically and this is what, what's going to happen every time that you have a value that is basically greater than the target now let's say the less important thing here and if i have a value that is basically equal to my target so let's say february the value is equal to 3000 i'm gonna press enter and uh, this category february remains remained in a red color why is that because when we did here the if function the only criteria or the only condition that we input here is the greater than operator and if you want to whenever the value is also equal to the target instead of using only the greater than you also need to use equal to and to do it you need to append just after here the greater than sign using the equal sign or greater than or equal to greater than or equal to now let me press here enter and i'm gonna click hold and drag out this function and look what's gonna happen with the february month okay now it's green because whenever i have a value that is equal to my target i'm gonna have a highlight on those values okay so this is how we can create a chart in excel that automatically changes its color depends on the criteria that we selected that we choose it okay so i hope this video can help you out and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below because every day has a new video see you there